Hey everyone, super excited today as we are cloudbound with Nasuni, uh, leading innovator in the cloud uh, storage space. Uh, Nick, how are you? I'm excellent. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Really excited for Cloudbound and to have this little peek uh, into the agenda and topics uh, on display at Cloudbound. Before that, maybe introduce yourself, your team, and your role within the SUNY. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I'm Nick Burling. I'm the Senior Vice President of Product here at the SUNY, I'm located out of our Boston headquarters in the in the seaport, looking out over the beautiful Boston Harbor. Um, and, you know, for those who aren't familiar with us, uh, Nasuni um, is a enterprise file data platform uh, company. So we provide solutions for mid to large sized uh, enterprise customers around the world, brand names that you would know and recognize. Um, and in particular, to be able to consolidate, protect, and then derive insights from all of their mission critical file and unstructured data. Well, such an important topic and Cloudbound is all about transforming business with data intelligence and AI. Give us a peek into the agenda and the themes for this year's big event. Absolutely, yeah. So we're really excited. This will be our fifth annual Cloudbound conference. Wow. Um, and this year we're doing things a little bit differently. It will be really fun. I'm personally excited because I get to take advantage of this where we're, we're really splitting this up into both virtual and in-person events throughout the month of September. The virtual ones will include obviously a bunch of different topics and we'll dig into that I'm sure in a bit, but then we're also doing on-premise and in fact, uh, part of what we call Cloudbound on board sessions on, on board various different vessels. So I get I get to be lucky enough to, to take some folks around the Boston Harbor and, and cover a lot of these key topics. You know, the main theme for this year's event is all around data intelligence and AI, right? Obviously, these are critical topics for our customers and for prospects. You know, anyone that's in charge of managing and protecting data that's out there, they're thinking about AI. But one of the other key things is it's not just about AI, right? This is really about how do you get better insights into the data, whether you're at the very early stages thinking about something as simple as Copilot or whether you're much more sophisticated thinking out building out new Gen AI services on your own. You know, this is really about being able to hear from industry experts, learn about best practices, and not just from experts, but also from some of our customers, which we're really excited about, all around how hybrid cloud solutions that are being used at some of these innovative and highly successful businesses how can that be a, a pattern? How can these be best practices that you might be able to apply to your business? Wow, so many important topics. And of course, hybrid cloud storage is uh, one of those huge topics to IT leaders now. Um, what's your personal point of view? How have you seen it evolve over the few number of years? And you know, what are some of the new trends, innovations you're particularly excited about bringing to life at CloudBound? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've really seen a, a major transformation in the market really over the last three to four years. A couple of key trends that I'll highlight there. Number one, you know, the cloud is is core to so many businesses uh, strategies around data, data management, data protection. And, you know, we talk about hybrid, you know, hybrid can be a loaded word. So for some customers, hybrid typically means I'm maintaining some infrastructure in the cloud and I'm building cloud native services. For some, it can be on-prem. For others, it's, hey, I wanna be able to have a strategy that relies on multiple cloud vendors, so I'm minimizing risk to my business of, of, of vendor lock-in. And for others, it may be around, hey, I'm all in on the cloud, but I still have to make that data available. Even if I'm not maintaining infrastructure on-prem, I have to make that data available. So the good news from our perspective is, we address all of those. And so one, that key trend of the cloud is front and center. We're seeing more and more of the large enterprise customers with major cloud initiatives. And on top of that, AI, right? So AI is obviously driving a lot of questions. And when you talk to our customers in particular, right? The IT infrastructure leaders that have to figure out how do I help my business understand what's possible in this world of AI, but then most importantly, how do I help them to experiment and eventually take advantage of these services in a way that's cost effective and that's secure. And so these are some of the big themes and that's what you're seeing drive a lot of the content that people are gonna be able to take a look at uh, in this fifth annual uh, Cloudbound conference. Fantastic, what an agenda. And you, you mentioned Cloudbound is about building a foundational strategy for AI. W what advice would you give to companies just starting down this journey? What are the first one, two, three steps they need to consider? Yeah, 
That's a great question. So one of the one of the major themes here is, um, look, you can't have a good AI strategy if you don't have a good data strategy. Mm. And all of that starts with understanding what data you have. So most of our customers, when they first come to us, and one of our biggest value props is our ability to help them get their hands around their entire data state to consolidate and protect that data by leveraging a hybrid cloud solution like ours. And so everything starts first with that consolidate and protect phase. Again, if you don't have a foundation of what data do I have, do I know that it's protected? And I have to know that it's accessible to all the different services that are gonna to wanna to use it. One of the other key things is, you know, in many cases, the AI services, whether that's, you know, I'm running a service against something like um, uh, Azure AI search, or again, Microsoft Code uh, 365 Copilot, you know, I need to know that I can provide the right data to those services in a secure manner. So consolidate and protect is that sort of foundational piece. The next bit is starting to get to visibility into who's accessing the data, who should be able to, who shouldn't, because again, security is top of mind when these customers are thinking about starting to leverage these AI services. And then really the next level is what we talk about in terms of curation, right? And this is where data intelligence really comes into the mix. I need to be able to understand what data I have. I need to be able to identify workloads that are appropriate for exposing to those services and equally important, not appropriate to that. So if you start from those kind of three key steps, consolidate and protect, make sure that data is accessible anywhere it needs to be accessed while still maintaining control, and then starting to get better visibility into the data itself, how it's being used, that curation phase. This is all a big part of what attendees at the conference will see is kind of what we talk about around fit for AI, right? So that's the the underlying data strategy that's going to position customers, whether you're small enterprise all the way to the largest, you know, Fortune 50 companies, position yourself to be able to be in a position to understand what AI services can mean and then how you start to take advantage of them securely and cost effectively. Wow, really powerful opportunity there. What are some of the more impactful insights that you've seen from companies using your tools? Um, you know, at a high level and what, what can we anticipate uh, at the big, the big event? Oh yeah. Another great question. You know, as these, as our customers kind of start down this, this journey, right. As they do consolidate that data under a single platform and they start to get visibility into it, you know, we've rolled out some key capabilities earlier this year um, around providing that visibility and insight into how all of the different users, consumers of that data are interacting with the file system. Once you start to see that, um, you know, some of the key insights are just awareness of, wow, I had no idea what we actually had <laughs> across these, you know, petabytes of data. Um, I didn't understand the usage patterns of, you know, who was accessing and driving growth across these different um, portions of our data estate. So there's sort of a, a, an awakening, if you will, of, of kind of understanding of, wow, now I can wrap my hands around this. Maybe now, you know, thinking about how I expose some of that data and leveraging AI services isn't quite as daunting if I know I have that control. So that's that's a big one. You know, another one is just at the end of the day, um, there really is a very broad spectrum of businesses out there. Some folks are, you know, as I somewhat jokingly say, just learning how to spell AI, which is totally fine, right? They're just looking at what does this even mean to us? And they're very much at that sort of dipping a toe in the lake, so to speak. And then we have other customers that really are building three, five-year business strategies around Gen AI services. And it's really exciting to be able to say that, you know, we, along with some of the you know, major brand name vendors out there like Microsoft, AWS, Google, et cetera, we are fundamental to that strategy of thinking about how they're going to be able to build these Gen AI services off of the data that's on our platform. And then I guess the other one, which isn't I necessarily, I'd say, a big insight per se, but just you know, the the importance of, of that curation component that I talked about, both from a, what data is relevant and appropriate to be exposed to these services, but then also how do I keep the security and control and compliance around how those, the, uh, those AI services are interacting with our data. It's just so fundamental to what our customers are talking to us about. And so you'll see a lot of that as a focal point throughout the event. Wow, really interesting. And of course, you mentioned security top of mind to everyone from the C-suite on down, uh, particularly as we move to hybrid cloud environments, maybe share how Nasuni stands out you know, in addressing these challenges, what's your unique approach here? 
Yeah, it's a great question. So I mentioned consolidate and protect, right? So the unique thing about, about Nasuni really lies in our architecture. Um, so, you know, our founders had a tremendous vision when designing um, UniFS, which is our global file system, because it is built into and on object storage and has been from day one. Well, what does that mean? When you think about traditional, what I'd call hardware-centric legacy um, file data storage solutions, they're hardware-centric, they're siloed, they weren't built for the cloud. And even as those solutions have shifted to be cloud available, I would say, Really, they're just wrapping a subscription model around what is rented hardware and some of the limitations that you get with that. Those limitations are around scalability, but then also protection and security. So I have to have separate disaster recovery, separate backup services to be able to protect that data. And I typically have to have that spread in multiple silos around the world because, again, the scale of the system prevents them from being able to have a single unified view. That is the fundamental differentiation for Nasuni, and there's really kind of three key pillars that enables. The fact that we are built into cloud object storage gives us infinite scalability. So customers can scale up as much as they want, the capacity that they need to be able to support their business, but maintaining a single pane of glass view through a single namespace with global visibility across that. You know, and then the second key, key component of that is because we have that unlimited scale, we also layer on top unlimited versioning. So now all of the versions of that file system are protected, immutable versions stored in the cloud. That means two really important things. Number one, I don't have to have a separate backup and disaster recovery solution for my file and unstructured data. So that's a cost savings, that's an efficiency of management of multiple vendors and solutions. But the other key thing is I now have protection against disastrous events that could be a ransomware attack. Uh, that could be you know, someone inadvertently pulls the plug on uh, 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 or changes a storage account um, or blows it up in the, in the cloud. I won't name names that may have happened recently in the news. So the fact that we provide that immutability and the customer can literally change a pointer in the file system at any point to get to a full restore of their file system, that's a huge, huge part, and that's just built into our platform from a security and protection perspective. So that's really the foundation of allowing customers to consolidate all under a single vendor with global visibility across um, a global file system, built in protection and security. And then now what you're seeing from us is layering on these data intelligence services that I mentioned, providing better visibility into the data, the ability to then curate the data, but it all starts with that foundation. And that's really kind of where different, we, where Nasuni differentiates ourselves from our competitors. Well, really impressive. Well, let's talk about the cloudbound event itself. Um, you had me at uh, Boston Harbor waterfront as a local, I always <laughs> enjoy hanging out there, but tell us about the format, the setup, uh, hybrid event, virtual event, give us give us some details and insights into uh, what to expect. Absolutely. So as I mentioned, you know, this is kind of a hybrid event, no pun intended, uh, where we are doing the virtual event. This is going to be all around navigating your unstructured data with AI. This takes place September 5th uh, of this year, obviously, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern. So that's going to be the online portion. Great sessions there, and I'll talk a little bit more about some of those. Um, but there are also these four cloud-bound onboard events that are taking place at exclusive venues. So I mentioned Boston, uh, the other three, Chicago, Newport Beach, and then also London for the folks over in, in the UK and, and in, in Europe. Um, so registration is free and open for all participants, and they can go to www.cloudbound.masuni.com. And you know, the cloud-bound onboard events are exclusive. They're focused around educational sessions but also providing network experiences. And that's the part that I'm really excited about um, is being able to out, be out there in person talking with folks, but also um, attendees being able to talk with their, you know, their colleagues at different businesses within their industry or even across industries to you know, be able to pick the brains of some of the brightest minds and, and, and talk about you know, how are these other businesses thinking about AI and the challenges of what does it mean to prepare for leveraging AI, and then what are they looking for in terms of hybrid cloud technology to support that? There, you know, in terms of the sort of agenda for them, they're going to be made up of different seminars, uh, cocktail hours, and obviously on the uh, on the cruises, of course, they're going to be hors d'oeuvres and and a dinner experience. But again, the networking, and then obviously the online is going to be you know a set of virtual sessions, um, which I'm really excited about. 
Yeah, well, I'm actually really excited too. I can't wait to join you. Can't wait to meet you and the extended team at Nasuni and kind of up my game on industry insights and understanding. Sounds like an event for kind of everyone, not just technologists and IT practitioners, but everyone within the industry who has a stake in the future of cloud and security. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I'd, I'd be remiss, um, you know, one of the things we're really excited about is some of the the industry experts that we've been able to attract. Um, in particular, I, I'm not to promote my own session, but we'll be doing a session with uh, Daniela Roos, um, a roboticist and computer scientist and the director of MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. Wow. So really excited about that. She's recently come out with a book, which I just finished, um, which is fantastic all around some, you know, both visionary in terms of what's possible in this world of AI, but also with some really practical steps that I think are going to be really relevant to the customers and prospects that we talk to around, you know, what does this mean for them? And linking back again to how they think about a data strategy in this evolving world. Um, another great person um, is Karen El uh, Azari, um, who's an internationally recognized cybersecurity analyst, also an author and researcher, over 20 years of experience in the cybersecurity field. So, you know, it's not just, you know, Nasuni people and some of our customers, mm. but we brought in some some of the best and brightest to talk about some of these really important issues. Well, what an amazing opportunity. Can't wait to check it out uh, and can't wait to uh, meet you and the team in person as well. Yeah. So look forward to it. Thanks everyone for watching. Reach, reach out to Nasuni, follow them on social media. They put out some great content, very educational content, not just marketing stuff. And uh, until next time. Thanks very much, Nick. Thanks very much and uh, take care, everyone.